medical clan program started as a dream by um, a generous man in Switzerland who saw it in Switzerland and wanted to bring it to Israel. And from that, a dream developed into a vision for Israel. We started with three clowns. We have now six clowns at Hadassah, three at Enkerim, three at Mount Scopus. But from this started the bigger picture for all of Israel. And there are almost clowns in every medical um, center in Israel. We come here in Hadassah for the children, and for the family. And uh, I think that it's very, very important you come for humanity and not only the clown, yes. Because we have a report of the children and the patient, something come in the love, you know, enjoying and something very special. It's really a way of bringing, um, a way to lower anxiety, to bring a better communication between parents and children, children and the doctors, the doctors and the parents. It really just helps in creating the right atmosphere um, where treatment can be given to the, to the kids, even if it's a painful treatment, in, in a way that the child cooperates more and it's easier for everyone. And it's done with a smile rather than with a big cry. Sometimes the children just need uh, somebody to make them laugh. Sometimes the children, they are really afraid. They need somebody to make them forget what the situation is. You come to them, they give you the permission, you give them something and they take it and give you a lot. And also we try to help uh, when they do test or blood test. Medical staff, being a doctor, nurse, even technicians, they ask, they request, they beg that the clowns will come with them. When we have a child who needs a CT scan or any kind of uh, treatment that is away from the department, we have a special cap service. And that's our clown coming to help, to ease in any way the process, the treatment. Lots of procedures I do with the clown, or I start with the clown. And after a time, the child already is regular to the environment. He knows what's going to happen. Nausea isn't nice, and sometimes you don't walk straight after surgery, and sometimes you're not balanced. And with these things, they, they start with it. Like the clown would start with the kid, and he would walk with him and he would be exactly like him or almost like him and it's going to be okay. These guys are involved in these kids' lives. Um, it's not just about walking in here for 10 minutes and making them laugh. These guys care about the kids and they know the kids. They know each of the kids' cases. They come to us privately in the morning or after hours to ask how certain kids are doing and what they can do to help. And uh, I've worked in many places and you don't find that often. They became part of the staff and part of the life at the hospital. The medical staff sees the value of laughter, see the value of a different view to how you can approach a child. And what we see more and more is staff and teams that request that a clown will come and talk to them about their work and how they can enrich each other. So we're in a position now where our clowns give lecture to medical students. They give lecture to um, technicians who are in the imaging department, to physiotherapists. When our team goes to Ethiopia with, to help the orphanage in a special um, orphanage for AIDS patient that we help and we adopted, our clown became part of the team that goes there. The medical clown program is completely supported by donations. It is not covered by the insurance or any other way. And now we're constantly, you know, reaching out and asking for some help to allow us to continue this very, very important program um, for as long as we can and to as many departments as we can. When you hear a kid laughing and you see a smiling on the face, you, not, you are not feeling that you are in a hole of a department in the hospital or something like this. You feel that you are in a player. Uh, they make me less threatening to the children. Yeah. They're, they're a huge ass. It's taking people to some other world inside a room in a hospital, which is amazing. We, we love this, this job. We love, we call, I don't know if we say job. And we are not tired of it. We want more. <laughs> we want more. They give normal atmosphere. 
something that's not hospital. Life.